Korean military has been evacuating thousands of civilians from their homes on the island nation. See. Why? Kim Yong Chul, dynastic ruler of North Korea, claims it is a humanitarian oh, mission. Tremors have been felt as far away as Hawaii. North Korea claims a volcanic eruption threatens the island's population. U.S. scientists say there has been no volcanic activity on the islands in recorded history. Secretary of State Douglas Bornheim says the North Korean actions are nothing short of an invasion. So what is the real story? Dr. Joseph Harford, chair of the Commission on Far East Relations, is with us tonight. First, Joe, what exactly is Kim Jong-chul planning? Well, Alex, there's no doubt this has been building up for some time. Kim Jong-chul has been looking to extend North Korean influence in the Pacific, and they have focused on a group of de facto independent nations, which they perceive as susceptible to North Korean influence. As you will remember, these islands were in the news four years ago when the North Koreans supported the Marxist RFIP's independence movement. Tensions skyrocketed when the post-revolutionary government, backed by Kim Jong-chul, set about nationalizing billions of dollars of American corporate assets. And what kind of threat do the North Koreans pose? North Korea is no longer the poor man of Asia, Alex. 2008 represented a sea change in North Korean aspirations. On succeeding his father, Kim Jong-chul immediately initiated Xiaoping-style economic reforms, turning North Korean metropolises into virtually independent ultra-free market city-states. Pyongyang now has the second highest techno-dollar turnover on the planet. This has allowed the North Korean regime to buy in the latest Chinese military technology. And let's not forget, North Korean words are backed by nuclear weapons. 